The family of a woman who died after waiting hours to be treated in a Nova Scotia emergency room is suing the province and the doctor who treated her. Alison Holthoff went to the Cumberland Regional Health Centre with her husband on December 31st when she began feeling ill. The CBC's Brett Ruskin is in Halifax with details of the lawsuit. These court documents have just been made available to CBC News. They are the statement of claim filed by lawyers representing the family of Alison Holtoff. Again, she was the 37-year-old mother who died on New Year's Eve just a few months ago after being taken to a hospital here in Nova Scotia. So these court documents identify some of the res respondents being the Nova Scotia Health Authority as well as the doctor who was working in the emergency room that day that Allison was taken to the emergency room and so uh, she was carried in by her husband they had to place her in a wheelchair to get her inside and she was seen by the triage nurses there and then her condition quickly deteriorated she collapsed in a bathroom she had to be carried out by security staff the, from the bathroom and brought back to the waiting area she was then not able to sit up by herself in the wheelchair ended up on the floor in the fetal position, according to these documents, vomiting bile. There were other people in the waiting room who were asking some of the staff there for a doctor to come and treat her, along with her husband pleading with staff to have a, a doctor come and treat her as well. It was about seven hours before a doctor eventually did see her, began treating her, began giving her pain medication. And that is when, a short time after that, she went into cardiac arrest around seven o'clock in the evening, that same day that they brought her in and that is when she died of complications of a ruptured spleen. So a few details, a few gaps in this story that had been missing before now filled in by these documents as for a response, as for what happens next. We'll simply have to wait and see because we reached out to the Nova Scotia Health Authority. They say that they do not comment on legal matters such as these. Also that they have 15 days according to the legal schedule here in Nova Scotia. They'll have 15 days both the health authority as well well as the doctor listed in these documents to provide a response. Again, this is just the latest chapter in this tragedy and one of just many cases of people trying to interact, trying to get care in the healthcare system here in Nova Scotia, which is under such a strain, such a strain across the country as well. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Halifax.